Maths. Oh. We'll try that again. Maths. Yay! Not. Your school days. Stop. Heal. Love them. Yes! <laughs> or loathe them. I will be your teacher all the way through to GCSE. So oh, year, kill me now. You never forget them. <laughs> At Willows High in Cardiff, for an uncompromising head teacher. Girls, I don't know what's slowing you down, but it is starting to annoy me. There's a job to be done. It means everything to me that all you guys get is one thing, and that is a choice. To turn around a school that was until recently one of the worst in Wales. I think an education should give every child a chance. I don't think it's fair that actually your postcode can determine your life chances. But when you're dealing with teenagers... Shit, they've got assembly! Life's never straightforward. Where's Switzerland? New Zealand. No, it's somewhere like that, though, isn't it? We filmed over a year to find out what life is really like in one of our secondary schools. For the teachers... So everyone in the department is ganging up on your son. And the kids. At the very start of adult life. Come in and damage any more school property. Oh, my damaging stuff! I want the right staff in my school, people that genuinely want to champion the underdog. They give everything to the children of their school. Give me a high five. Excellent. Hey! <laughs> when a child makes it against all the odds, it's the most rewarding thing of all. Yeah. How can we get called sheep shaggers? There are like five million other questions you could have asked me. Why did you come up with that one? <laughs> I remember when I mentioned to some of the teachers that I was applying to Willows High School, a heck of a lot of teachers were saying to me, Joe, that's career suicide, what are you doing? Do you just want to, like, crowd control for the rest of your life? Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, take your time. Take I was time. very nervous about coming here, thinking, oh, my God, I'm not the big disciplinarian, which you probably need to be at this school. Just as we seem to be getting somewhere, Chloe, it's getting all aggro. We're going to draw a line under it, OK? Mr Sage has been a PE teacher at Willows for seven years. He's also head of Harlech House. Uh, good morning, Harlech House. I was hoping you guys are going to lead by example. Me, um, Shanice and Femi went round earlier on in the week looking for our candidates. Joe's responsible for the progress and also the pastoral care of about 150 of our students. Your house captain this year is Shanice. Oh, my God, Shanice! <laughs> I'm certainly not a shelter. There's certainly no kid in school who's afraid of me. That's, I'd hate for that. Yeah, i got tears right. in my eyes. <laughs> right, listen. All of you are brilliant. You two are going to be a dream team. Oh, well done, well done, OK? Back to your lessons again. Okay? Thank you. If you look at four heads of house at Willows, I think we're all very different. I'm pretty more direct. Kian, i got a present for you. Look at this. Joe is very kind, very understanding. All of this stuff, this is official fire stuff from the Merseyside Fire Department, as you can keep. Joe makes it his business to know every child as an individual. For definite in year 10, we can get you on to, like, a work experience week. Yeah. That'd be really, really good. He will truly go the extra mile, sometimes further than what the job would expect him to. Good morning. You look Lovely. a bit better today, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it just gets on top of you a bit, doesn't it, yeah. you know? So, you know where I am if you ever want to come and just get rid of some of it yeah. and have a chat, you know. Thanks. I think that sometimes somebody needs a little bit of a watchful eye on Joe to look out for him and look after him so that actually it doesn't affect him too much. It's period two in the isolation room. Work it out. It would be a good thing if you did that. Linda. A year eight girl in Mr. Sage's house is stuck on a maths problem. What was it? 99 plus 10. 99 plus 10. That's 190, yeah? I gotta see this. Now what? You take the nine, swap it over, yeah. and it makes 190. You're like some uh, sort of math magician. 
You're breaking the rules of mathematics there. Do you like school? If I've got good lessons, yeah. <laughs> and if you haven't got good lessons? Um, I just kick it off for teachers. Yeah, look, you guessed on I, okay. so I'm sit over. The maths police would come and arrest you. Really, would they? They would. I'll life, punch him. Life imprisonment, no parole. It's, it's 990. Who's the maths teacher? Mr. Uh, Hennessy. I'll go and sack him straight away. Linda, and I know you're his teacher. Now, on simple service, 99 add on. It's 190, tell him. <laughs> How would you describe Linda? Quite mad. Quite nuts, to be honest. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, she, like, kicks off over anything she possibly can. But she's, like, the kind of friend I will always look out for you, you know? Do you agree that's 99? Yeah. So it'll be uh, Just shut up time. and let me listen. Let you listen. Shut up and listen. Do you like taking advice off teachers? I hate it. Do you know what I hate? When teacher tells me what to do. What's zero add nine? Nine. What's one add nine? Ten. I know you can read that answer. What's the answer? And nine. So we've just proved it. But it's not because... Well, this is ridiculous. So that's meant to be 199. Tara Lynn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if I just double check, I mean, 99 add 10. 109. I thought as much. In you go. Linda has more detentions than any other student in year eight. Right. Have a seat a minute, Linda. I'm going to. Concerned about her worsening behaviour, Mr. Sage has called her into his office. Where is your report, Linda? Um, in Miss Jones. Mr. Sage is so lovely. He looks up for me all the time. And what does he say to you? Behave, Linda. Come on, make yourself proud. Right, Linda. Have a look, please. She's on report to me, so I check to see how she's doing, you know, lesson by lesson. I got a real soft spot for her. She can be good as gold. She really does want to do well. She just sometimes can't help herself. I'm concerned, Linda. That unless something changes, you're going to have a nightmare of the year. Right, look at this. You've got 18 merits and things so far, OK? Look at all these incidents for, for bad things, though, OK? You've I've got, got 31. You, you've got 31 referrals, OK? It doesn't make a nice feeling, does it? You don't want to be up there, Linda, OK? Look at me, please. Linda, come on, I know you don't like it's it. It's not me, it's all the trip. Tell me, OK, let's try and get to the bottom of this, OK? The fact that you're crying shows that you care, doesn't it? OK? It does. You know, and you have plenty of merits on there, so you're obviously doing some things right. But when you're naughty, then you're a nightmare. Aren't you? OK? Come on, you're better than that, Lind. You've got to start working with me. OK? All right, I'll hang on to this. Come on, big smile. Yeah, there you go. See you later, OK? Linda is somebody who is very strong. I think she's able to cope with a lot of things. I think because she's very strong, that also makes her very opinionated. Originally from the Czech Republic, Linda's family moved here seven years ago. I was thinking we had a Michael in and now, but I was quite excited because it was the first time I've been on an aeroplane. And when you came to England, could you speak English? No, but my brother learned and he forgot all the words. So you tell Florian. What's he doing? Putting his foot on my face. And he's got <laughs> one shoe off. Linda's older brother Florian is also a student at Willows High. I will park you in a minute and then you won't, you won't be coming back after lunch either. Park with us. Is it nice to have a brother at school as well? Yeah, he stick up for me. I copies him sometimes of his behaviour. I goes, whoa, bruv, whoa, what are you doing, you? Yeah? <laughs> Oi, Linda, I'm talking to you. Focus. Right, keep it like that now, and then all you've got to do is pull it, pull it through like that. Like, have you been eating cheese and onion crisps as well? Oh, my God. 
where you're going? I just came in. You just came in? Yeah. Like a, like a holiday resort. Yeah. Isn't it? It's like, you know, so what's not today? Everybody else has Zumba, then a little bit of disco. Oh, school. Right, in there, you're both going to have to go home. Why? Why? Because you refuse to hand over my phone. Oh, my God, please, now. Inside. Yeah. Pardon? I'm not going off on a phone. Well, you have to. It's period three. I'm on Donovan. Florian, Linda's brother has been involved in an incident in French. What's he done? Florian got a lighter out in Miriam's class and attempted to light the carpet. It's a bit obvious thing to do, isn't it? Just showing off, Pippa, all the time. Sitting there for a minute while I get for home contacted. Come on, please, in the office. <laughs> yes, that one. You got a lighter trying to light to the carpet. The thing with Florian, we're not sure how serious it is. Um, it could be so serious that it's a permanent exclusion. Um, it could be daft, dangerous behaviour in class where he's going to get the talent off of his life. We'll deal with the facts as they, they come to light, but Joe's going to try and find out more. Just tell me exactly what you saw, please. Uh, I think Florian... As Florian's head of house, Mr Sage needs to get a full picture of events. So he interviews his classmates. Well, I saw Florian lighting something up, yeah? Yeah. And he tried to light her under the table. Yeah. He starts smoking a bit and then try and light the, the light up to the carpet. You're absolutely sure, yes? Yeah. You understand how serious this is, Junior, okay? So you've got to be 100% sure you're totally telling the truth, yeah? Yeah. Okay? Good boy. Hi there. He's got to do a statement. Could you help him do one, please, Sam? Junior, who was sat across the room, said, I saw him with a flame that's trying on the carpet. Did he want to set a fire to burn down our school? I don't think so. I don't think so either. But I believe that his behaviour was extremely dangerous. Um, I think that Florian has definitely earned a five-day exclusion with this, this joke. I want to see, when Florian comes back, that actually he's got remorse that he wants to stay in this school. If he doesn't want to stay in this school, we're banging our head against a brick wall, fella, aren't we? Right? Great, okay. We've got ourselves a plan? Yeah, thank All you. All right, fella. And thanks for doing such a thorough mm. investigation. Thank, thank you. you. He, who did he grasp him up to? Watch now, bro. Just watch now. Grass up, my brother. He'll have beef now. Do you know what Junior got? Junior. Yeah, no. You, yeah. Why are you grassing up my brother for? Yeah, so make me what you want about. It's a major, is it? Yeah. Why did you grass him up for? I didn't want to, but big people grassed as well. Don't just break. Who else grassed him? Had my report. Big people. Why did you grass him up for? Yo, sir, yeah, I wanted on? to know the truth. I ain't gonna lie to a teacher. If he's excluded because if you watch who I'm oh. gonna get on the watch, just watch out who I'm gonna get on Why are you get getting on, on me then? Is big people snitched on him as well? You it's your fault. It. How is it my fault? I think between siblings, one's behaviour can impact on another. If I find out he's excluded forever, what? It would be heartbreaking to see the potential of a pupil like Linda lost to a certain extent. Sir, um, Junior's been grassing up my brother. Right, listen carefully, but you need to calm yourself down. He was talking Excuse about me. my brother. Linda, you need to calm yourself down, please. She's a very little girl with enormous potential who basically, at times, sits on the fork of either going to the left and being great or the right and being a complete disaster. I don't miss Maths. Oh, oh, no. We'll try that again. Maths. Yay! Not. What measurement is used to measure the size of horses? Horsepower. Horsepower is engines. <laughs> How many sides does a dodecahedron have? Corey. Twelve. He takes five points. Twelve-year-old Corey is one of Year 8's highest achieving students. Are you competitive? Yeah, very competitive. Everyone wants to win, everyone hates losing. No matter how much people say, oh, it doesn't matter if you lose, it's all about taking part, really, they want to win. 
They wouldn't be saying that if they won. <laughs> Corey. 10% of um, 120 is 12. Who trouble has 36? Half of 12 is 6. Add that on 42. Stop being clever. <laughs> Which country's national rugby team are called the All Blacks? Bye. Fastest arm was there. Uh... New Zealand. In you come, please, boys. Corey is also part of the Year 8 rugby team. Right. Coached by Mr Sage and Mr Smith. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The captaincy is up for grabs, OK? Massive honour because... I think I played better last time. No, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Gethin, Corey, you know full well that if you're chosen, it's massive for you, boys. Fellow candidate Gethin is one of Corey's best friends. Do you want to be captain? No, I don't want to be captain. Yeah. You don't want to be... I was joking. It's called sarcasm. Oh, I, I want to be captain. You should learn it in English. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Very well. <laughs> they are good friends, but life is competitive, and I want the boys to understand that this is, you know, you've got to work for things. Let's go. I want you up to the far rugby post, please, by the gate. Ah! Corey, get back! Cole, get back! Team sports can teach a lot of core values about teamwork, communication, leadership. It can help to motivate them and not settle for second best and actually try and push themselves and if there's something they want to do, make it happen. I'm looking for a pass, Corey. Good lad. Now, how do you think the teachers would describe you? Probably describe me as small and everyone tends to think you're cute. <laughs> and most of the time, when you're not heavy, you get carried around everywhere. You just go on someone's back. I like being small. Corey, fancy footwork. I get it from my dad. I think he's like five foot and a fag butt. <laughs> It's been five days since Florian was excluded. Oh, get in here, you. Shut the door, Joe. Come and have a sit at the big table, cos I'm so mad with you, Florian. He's back in school for a reintegration meeting with Mrs Ballard before he returns to lessons tomorrow. Why do you think I'd be so cross with you? Because I don't. What did you do? Play with light us. Right. And what could have happened from that? Being a cat. It's a million times worse than that. If something had caught hold of with a fire, you could have been responsible for a tragedy. Why would you do something so mad? I don't know, I was just playing with the light up. Do you want to be somebody that does well at school? Convince me, then. Convince me that I'm just not a stupid, soft idiot that actually has got another, sorry, Joe, but soft idiot running around after you all the time. Sorry. I sometimes feel like we're banging our heads against a brick wall. You've got so much potential, but it's very difficult and it's thrown back in our faces time and time and time again. You say to us, you want it, you say you want to give it a go, but every piece about you, like how you are now, this is how you sat. You've got sauce all around your face from something that you're just eating, and you sat there like this. You know what I mean? It don't have the sort of body language of somebody that actually wants a real chance to be someone. This is the last time we'll be pulling out all the stops for you. Thank you, Dookie. All right, Joe. Thanks. Florian, if you come and see me first thing in the morning, you'll have your new timetable, OK? All right? He wants to do well. I know he wants to do well. When it comes to the crunch, his decision-making is very, very poor and he makes the wrong decision time and time and time again. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. See you then. I'm sometimes running out of ideas for, with him, but I'm certainly not going to give up. I just, you know, keep going. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass. Hey, Linda, have you written that right down? Yeah. No. Determined that Linda doesn't follow her brother's lead, Mr Sage has come up with a plan. So, darling, darling, stay Hang on, Linda. She's been put into the bottom set. I don't think she's being stimulated in her lessons because it's too easy and she's misbehaving. Stay in your seat or I will park you because it's getting silly. Now you're distracting other people. They I don't know. I would like to take a bit of a calculated risk and try her and set one. 
Now, I know there might be some people who disagree with that, but I've got to try something. Well, she has done the work, Lindsay. Stop being silly. Shake it, shake it, shake it, like I'm supposed to do. She's very quickly going from lesson to lesson, storming out this, that and the other. She's in set three for everything. And that's clearly down to behaviour, because she's brighter than that. I think I can move her up. Um, I'll go with your best instinct, right. but make her aware and have realistic expectations. So your gut instinct would be set one across the board with it? Yeah, put it right across, I would. The harder bit yeah. is called your pinner. Peanut! Right, Linda, get out. A peanut! I understand she's a naughty girl, but... It doesn't she take does, a lot to distract she, exactly, her, so she's she got something to, to keep her motivated yeah. and keep her on task. She is a bright girl, but, but not in much, she's very weak. Jo, uh, trying to give her a shot, because uh, obviously things were unravelling in lower sets, so the theory is, with different kids, different attitudes, she might flourish. So, fingers crossed that in the future, things might change, but then that's the beauty of dealing with someone like Linda. You don't know what's coming at you. I say, give it a go, give it a chance. Are you I'm happy, happy to, yes. for me to yes. give it a try, OK? The buck will stop with me if things go badly, but I can't just sit back and watch her go through the rest of this year, going through a cycle of being excluded, detention, isolation and so forth. I'm here. Oh, I thought I'd lost you. No. Right, come on in, please. You know and I know you're a bright girl, OK? We're going to try moving you up to set one in all of your subjects. You're going to be in with some very good pupils who aren't going to stand for your nonsense. You are going to find it tough. I don't want to see people who just give up all the time, OK, Linda? You've got to really want it. Are you going to chuck it back in my face or are you going to give Behave. it a go? I'm going to start behaving when I move. Going into the top set, she will be around other pupils that will be very positive role models to her. You've got to take it and say, I'm going to turn over a new, a new leaf, all right? Yeah. She is actually very intelligent. I think it will give her the opportunity to show herself that she's a clever girl. If I see a fawn, I'll take it off you. It'll be in the safe and you can collect it at the end of the day. Oh. Right, have a seat for them. Tomorrow, Year 8's Gethin and Corey will both have to give a speech to convince their teammates they should be captain of the rugby team. They're being helped by Mr Roberts and Mr Norman. Mr Sage wants me to talk to someone about captaincy and okay. what it's, I th they think it's about and that. Right. And I'll like, try and write down notes and things. So what do you think, then, I captain think should do? Be committed to tackles. A good captain basically reflects the coach. So a good captain reflects what the coach wants. He wants the players' respect as well. He needs to have the players' respect, absolutely. So he needs to be a good player and the rest, someone that the rest of the team will respect. That's it, you got it. How long have you two been friends? Um, well, he come late last year, but I was his first friend. What would make you a better captain than Corey? I don't know, because Corey's a good player. But I think I'm better than him, though, than Robbie. He's very passionate. He always likes winning. Like, always. He, he can't stand losing. Like, he's just like me. He, he has a passion for sport and he just hates losing. What about strategy? Have you got any nice little plays or nice little... I um, think, do you know what a switch is? Basically, what happens, someone's, like, running this way, pops in, and they run that oh, so they go in the And when it's seven, it's just a complete gap, so I have a fast player, drop, pump, gone. Right. What you're saying there is you lead by example. Yeah. You wouldn't have a captain say, come on, tackle him, if he was scared to tackle him, if the captain was scared to tackle him. Yeah. yeah? So I always give my best, and I lead by example. Being a captain of a rugby team, I suppose it's the same as being a sort of leader of a school, isn't it? Yeah? And the one, the one thing you've got to have to start off with is a vision, right? So your vision is that your team is going to be the best team in that tournament. Yeah. That's your vision. Hey, put it there. I'm proud of you, right? This is, this is going to be good. Is he going to tell him tomorrow or when's he going to tell him? I think so. we got to read our things off him and he's going to tell yeah. us that. All right. Well, good luck with it. Let me know if you get it, all right? Hey, thanks, sir. OK. Have a lesson, then. Oh, well, I'll just, I'll just hope for the best. Yes, hope for the best. I'll be hoping for the best with you.
Is Mr. Sage here or Miss Tracy? Mr. Sage. No, she needs to speak to us really important. In the table. Oh, yeah. It's 8.50 on Thursday morning. Florian's five-day exclusion has ended and he's expected back at school. But his mum has arrived to speak to Mr. Sage. Okay, yeah, fine, okay, fine, okay. Like Rebecca's covering for me, does that work? Oh, okay. Yeah. Room's free now, isn't it? Come on in. Well, Have you got Florian with you as well? No. Okay. Um, yesterday, he started up my mum, kicking off. Florian's mum has decided it would be better for him to spend the rest of the school year with his grandmother. What's up? As soon as I came out of assembly, Linda was waiting with her mum, who had clearly been crying. Florian, last night, it came back in a foul mood from school. She has not done to school, she just... She can't control him. She's... Um, What's she going to do she and what can we do to she help wants, her? Well, she was saying... I want to send him back to the um, Czech Republic. Just We're only scratching the surface, aren't we? Yeah. Joe, we can't stop his mum from moving in. Yeah. Learning-wise, that's not the right thing for that lad. Sometimes some things with a kid's life's more important yeah. um, than actually their education. And I think Florian's got to that stage with, with that. Maybe it's what will save Linda, though. Mm. That's what I was thinking that. Like, I didn't want to say it at the time, but I, that's what I was thinking. Focus on Linda. Okay. All right. All right? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. You tried everything. Thank okay. you, Joe. Thanks. Thank you. Mum's made the decision that actually things with Florian at home have broken down so much that actually he's going to be sent back to the Czech Republic to live with his nan. I think stresses and things happening outside of school have a massive effect on students' behaviour. In fact, I think it's the single biggest contributing factor. There are more things to life sometimes than an education. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you I just, want, I just want to go by home. <laughs> where, where is he at home, is he? <laughs> Lind, what's wrong? It's with Florian, is it? Yeah, love. <laughs> but I can't have a brother no more. You will have a brother. You'll always have a brother. <laughs> yeah. I want to know he's going. <laughs> But you don't know yet, do you, Lev? You he is, know. definitely. He's going at three o'clock with my mum. I just burst in tears and then I was, like, playing with the pain and I never realised, like, a flurry and I just stopped, like, was star shaking and I cried. I know, I can see you're upset and I'm not going to play. What you've got to do, Linda, OK? You've got to look after number one now for a little bit, like, like Florian, OK? Oh, Lind. There's pictures on my phone now. You can't help but get emotionally involved. It's not like your job. If you really want to make a difference, it's like these kids are your own kids and your own family. What you need to do is make the right choices so that Florian can be really proud. Oh, look at Linda, fair play, so she's working hard. Forget about me. Make yourself proud, make Florian proud, make your mum proud, OK? I've got two children of my own at home, you know, and a third one on the way. Like oh, That's obviously my priority, but there are times when you go home and you you think about certain home lives of children and it, it does, like, play on your mind a little bit. Mr Whitaker, I'm sorry Linda's late. She's had a new timetable. She's ready to go now, OK? Thank you. This is also the day that Linda is going to move into the top sets. The timing is awful, but the, the decision is already made. Linda's moving up to top set and she needs to know that this is for the long term. You've got, the ref has got to go with a smooth and you've just got to make the most of it. Are you in set one for Max? Leah, you've got your foot. Are you? Oh, yeah. is it hot? Right, because of this, the landing gets very sadique. Is it hot or cold? 
very cold. No, right, it's what hot. I want you to do. It's hot. Listen, Linda, stop interrupting me, okay? I don't know what happened to your ask us, but now we don't interrupt. Right, what I want you to do. Hey boys, make sure nothing is broken here, okay? So I gotta behave today, I do. Have you? Yeah, I promised Mr. Sage. Oh, they had my nails done. Yeah. Not one of them fall off already. So I'm gonna get super glue now. Have you got any super glue? No. I laughed. I laughed to ask Miss Jones. How was Linda yesterday? Much better than I was anticipating. Good. Middle of the day, she had um, Florian's going back to the Czech Republic. Um, Is he? Yesterday she had a bit of a cry, but it seems that she's gone through a day. Simon spoke to her as she, as she was leaving and she'd enjoyed the day. <laughs> Didn't need to kick off. It's Linda's second day in top set, but she's already in trouble. <laughs> no, and this is not funny. Mr. S Shut the door. Mr. Sage is working his socks off to try and make your school life a success yeah yeah he's moved you some staff including me were not happy about you moving up and across with second lesson and you're in isolation yes Cub. mr sage wants linda in here until lunchtime she got parked lesson one and started kicking off being abusive again so he wants her in here how do you deal with someone like linda do you think jay's right <sighs> I said, I don't know, is that, is there any book that'll tell you how to deal with Linda? I have no answers. I wouldn't dare criticise what Joe's doing. But sometimes you have to have a more honest conversation. You need to start saying, well, it ain't going well. What's next? As the week unfolds, Linda's behaviour gets worse. Two choices there, Linda. You going in there to sit down? You can do I'm this. not going in that room! Linda. I'm not getting packed in Linda. that room! Linda? Oh, do you mind? Shut up, the both of you! Right, Linda, with me then, please. If I'm upset about family stuff, I'll be mouthy to teachers, even if they haven't done nothing to me. I'll still mouth off. Why are you shouting Because you didn't even have an attitude this morning, you gave me a But I don't really mean it, because it's when I'm in the mood. I recognise I'm the head of house uh, under my responsibility. I'm well aware that they're affecting the um, lessons of other pupils, and, I'm, and I feel guilty about that if they're one of my pupils misbehaving. It's also fair to say that Joe looks absolutely like he's been battered. He does actually generally look stressed up to the eyeballs. There have been times when I'm thinking, oh, my God, I've definitely done the wrong thing here. In your lens. We have a love and hate relationship, you and I, Linda, and I'll tell you... At the end of a difficult week, Mrs Ballard has requested a meeting with Linda to discuss her behaviour. When you're behaving in those ways, when you're shouting and you're hollering about things, I wish I could show you how that makes you look compared to that fantastic daughter that was there supporting your mum when your mum was so low. Linda, look at me. How's things at home at the, the moment? Quiet. Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh. Shall I tell you this? I always feel like when we talk to you that there's a lot of us talking and sometimes not quite listening to exactly what you're saying. Would you write me a letter that just says to me exactly what you would like? I always think there's some thoughts in there that you don't quite tell us. But if you... If you... Oh. Oh, Joe. I think it's very common for, for some pupils to have real wobbles along the, the way. And especially if it's a child that's got low self-confidence and low self-esteem, that can knock them for six and actually make them get very, very stuck. And I think sometimes it's other people's belief in them that carries them forward, people like Mr Sage. Right down. How are you feeling about school at the moment? How are you feeling about what's happened at home? If there's anything we can do...
thanks to Mr. Sage, I finally moved sets. I don't really like being on report. You've still got to keep, take responsibility yourself of having your report with you, OK? I yes. just need help with my anger. Look at me. Yeah. Linda, that's lovely. Well done on being honest, OK? Brilliant. I've got to take this back to Kerry. Our job is to manage them. We've got to try and manage their behaviour. And that's why you've got to try whatever you can. You're nice and calm now, OK? <coughs> Do me a favour, OK? Let's have ticks the rest of the day, please, OK? All right, good yeah. girl. Thank, Thank you. you. 58 tries. She's retired, though, isn't it? For Gethin and Corey, the big day has arrived. We're going to, like, make a big speech. We're going to say it in front of all the boys today. It's a tough thing we have to say in front of all the boys. Do we? Mm hmm I love that. <laughs> OK. I need you to listen, please, boys. Gethin, did you say you wanted to come first? Yeah. Right, if you come up. <laughs> okay. Get... <laughs> go on, boys. <laughs> okay. Right, Gethin, it's all yours. When they're quiet, you can get started. Okay. I am um, to be captain this year. Sevens tour is really important to me, and I'm willing to do what it takes. I love the sport. I will give my all at all times. I'm not scared to make the hardest of tackles. I'm not afraid of anyone on that pitch, except for Mr Smith's looks. I'm always talkative, it's in my nature, and you need a lot of chat in the captain. I will give it my all at all times. Thank you for listening. Well done. Thank you, Gethin. Right, um, Corey. Yeah. Go on in, Corey, nice and loud. I look loud and proud then, Corey, come on. Well, obviously I want to be captain. Um, I get along with most people in the team. My main attribute is to not give up, not keep chasing the game, no matter how many we're down, always think of it as no, no. Got to stop over, chat back to the refs. And, yeah. I try and do my best. If you're going to lose, then lose trying. That's a good model. I thought of that. Who's going to win? Well, anything can happen in rugby. But I'm not going to be angry if I don't get it. Here you come, then, boys. Have a go, boys. Back yourself. You see, you can go for it, OK? What's Mr Sage like? I like him as a person. Support at the moment with the boy. But... I think he's a good teacher. Oh, oh. You'll be back on in a minute, quickly. Ah, oh, what a legend. Good girl, Linda. Ah, oh, Linda. I don't know what you mean by day, because she actually come and found me with this. That's a mesh better day. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Like, I know you've had a little wobble, but that's a good day. Well done. Very well done. He tries not to let any of us give up. Everyone deserves a shot, he thinks. Corey, get back! Cole, get back! This evening, the Year 8s have got a rugby match against Cardiff High School. I know the weather's going to be poor, but if you can get out and watch it, it's going to start straight after school on the rugby pitch. Before the match against their local rivals, Gethin and Corey will find out who's won the captaincy. I think there's ten of us who's captain today. Oh, brilliant. You'll find out today. Yeah, and best right. of luck, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. You're nervous today, fella, are you? I'm not nervous. just really want to know who's captain. Yeah, just want yes. to know now. Yeah. yeah. This is what again. It's the tense <laughs> one. <laughs> Come on in, boys. Hello, boys. How are you feeling, Gethin? Ill. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Both me and Mr. Smith have been very impressed with the two of you the whole time, okay? So, and nice to see the, the bond between you, obviously, mates anyway. So, yeah. whoever gets this captaincy, the other one's going to support and everything. It's been very, very close, but overall, we've considered a lot of things. We're going to give Gethin the captaincy, and we're going to give Corey the vice captaincy. So, both no. of you. Very well oh. done. Very well yeah, done. Cool. And you, Corey. Well done, Gethin, lad. Um, These are for you boys well to, done, to keep. Well done, Corey, lad. Captain and vice captain. Corey, you've got to step up. Gethin is not well at all. So you're captain for tonight, okay? But very well done on it. Boys, honestly, I'm very, very proud yeah, of both of you. Brilliant. <laughs> Straight down to the band, please, boys, all right? Well done, Gaff. I was, like, pretty upset when I didn't get it, but I was happy for him. Well done, boy. Yes. Because he's my friend. Friends mean more than captaincy anyway, so if he got it, I'm happy. Gavin got it. I'm vice. 
I got vice captain, I think I succeeded anyway. Scores so far. We have Ellie on five, Marion 15, Linda on nine. Linda has been in top sets for four weeks. Next question, fastest hand. After how many years of marriage is a gold wedding anniversary celebrated? Eight. Fifty. Two points. I'm going to say it. Linda, so you've got a face on you. We need to get rid of that face. You can't just sit there having a strop. People can't expect her to fit into a mould of a perfect top set people. On the other hand, there's been several times I've quietly gone up to the window of the classroom and looked in. She's been working just like all the other pupils, and that's, a, that's lovely to see. You've added numbers and a ratio. Tick, dial. 20 divided by 5. Do you want to make Mr Sage proud? Yes, I do. So we could see how good I am. I want to make my mum proud so she believes that I could be good, not naughty. Dio, you're not finished. You've completed the easy questions. Now try something a little bit harder. Try some one up there. I just need to put my head down. Get on with my education. Oh, so you're struggling with a seven times table. Seven, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Let's have a look now. Hello. Hello. All right, Mr. Sage. Yes. Oh, okay. there you are. Come in. As a reward for Linda's improved behaviour, the school has bought a Christmas present for her to send to Florian. But I thought if I wrap the present up for you, what we could do is pop the card on it so he'll get it in time for Christmas as a Christmas present for you, yeah. from you. Right, come on then, let's get it done. Right, can I leave Linda with you? Yeah, I'll make sure she gets back. What time is it? He's lovely, Mr Sage, isn't he? Yeah. Hey. Dear Florian, I miss you so much, but enjoy your Christmas and Happy New Year. I sat with Miss Ballard while I was writing this and she said, Happy Christmas. I have moved to Top Set finally. <laughs> Love, Linda. That's lovely. I think you'd be very proud to see to get that, don't you? Yeah. OK. Right, let's get it in the envelope then. My schools are very special. Maths. Oh. 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 Well, try that again. Maths. Yeah! Your school days. Stop. Heal. Love them. Yes! <laughs> or loathe them. I will be your teacher all the way through to GCSE. Oh, so kill me now. You never forget them. At Willows High in Cardiff, for an uncompromising head teacher. Girls, I don't know what's slowing you down, but it is starting to annoy me. There's a job to be done. It means everything to me that all you guys get is one thing, and that is a choice. To turn around a school that was until recently one of the worst in Wales. I think an education should give every child a chance. I don't think it's fair that actually your postcode can determine your life chances. But when you're dealing with teenagers. Shit, I got assembly! Life's never straightforward. We're Switzerland. New Zealand. No, it's somewhere like that, though, isn't it? We filmed over a year to find out what life is really like in one of our secondary schools. For the teachers... So everyone in the department is ganging up on your son. And the kids. At the very start of adult life. Come in and damage any more school property. Oh, my damaging stuff! I want the right staff in my school, people that genuinely want to champion the underdog. <sighs> They give everything to the children of this school. Give me a high five. Excellent. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> when a child makes it against all the odds, it's the most rewarding thing of all. Yeah. How can we get called sheep shaggers? There are like five million other questions you could have asked me. Why did you come up with that one? <laughs> I remember when I mentioned to some of the teachers that I was applying to Willows High School, a heck of a lot of teachers were saying to me, Joe, that's career suicide, what are you doing? 
Do you just want to, like, crowd control for the rest of your life? Whoa, 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 whoa. Take your time. Take I was time. very nervous about coming here, thinking, oh, my God, I'm not the big disciplinarian, which you probably need to be at this school. Just as we seem to be getting somewhere, Chloe, it's getting all aggro. We're going to draw a line under it, OK? Mr Sage has been a PE teacher at Willows for seven years. He's also head of Harlech House. Uh, good morning, Harlech House. I was hoping you guys are going to... Harlech, 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 Harlech. cheers for Willows and Pep! 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 What's that? What do you recognise? Big or small? Small. Small. High five. Let's go. Next time. Six eights. Forty-nine. Oh. Forty-four. <laughs> I'm very confident in myself. <laughs> Two boys. It's not me, sir. No, I'm not joking now. Find maths. Seven times six. Forty-four. Hard. Pythagoras is the real works in right angle triangles. I don't even know how to do my eight times tables. Fifty-six. Sixty-two. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thursdays from 10 on Channel 4. How to charm the British woman. Look, if I managed it, brand new first dates catch up now on all four. New show next tonight. Get your fashion faux pas off your chest and squeeze. Go on, squeeze into that ridiculously tight dress. The changing room, bums and all.